Florida State AD Michael Offord talked with the Board of Trustees on Friday. Per Matt Baker from the Tampa Bay Times, who did a fantastic job covering this, he's got a great story over at the Tampa Bay Times, so go go ahead and check that out. Uh, Offord said that Florida State contributes roughly 15% of ACC media rights value, but gets only 7% of the distributions. And of course, you know where he's going with this. We're talking about unequal revenue sharing. Uh, he then stated that if, if something's not done, we cannot be $30 million behind every year compared to our peer. And he then stated at the end of the day for Florida State to compete nationally, something has to change going forward. So the Florida State Board of Trustees then asked about a buyout to leave the ACC. The legal counsel said it would be roughly $120 million, to which the BOT asks, of course, uh, basically, if we make up the $30 million uh, that we're behind from our peers, we would break even in roughly four years. And Offord replied, hypothetically. Uh, what he's really saying with the hypothetically there is that, you know, the ACC grant of rights runs through 2036. And a buyout from the ACC, from the conference, that $120 million price tag won't actually buy them out of the grant of rights. So what good would it do them to find a way to buy their way out of the conference if they don't own their media rights until 2036? Like, what value would they bring to a new conference if they can't get paid for their TV rights to their own home game? Florida State's president, Richard McCullough, then talked about some of the legal challenges facing the NCAA. He said, quote, I think this threatens to take away college football from the fan. He then compared all of this to watching an airplane crash into a train wreck. Now, this is incredibly interesting. We talked about, uh, you know, the, the unequal revenue sharing with the ACC, but we talked about it from the Clemson point of view just last week. Like, there's a lot more to this. There are a lot of schools in the ACC that that don't invest in football the same way that Clemson, Florida State, and, and Miami do, or just athletics overall. So maybe some of those schools would be okay with this unequal revenue sharing, but I I kind of doubt it. The only conferences that have agreed to unequal revenue sharing uh, have ended up ultimately breaking up or, or losing their biggest brands anyway. Like this certainly bears watching going forward. Like, but as it sits right now, that that grant of rights appears to be ironclad. If people could find a way out of it right now, they likely would have already done so. I'm curious. I'm very curious what they end up doing with this. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.